The string orchestra has had a long journey, um, starting with the viol family. Um, the viols were uh, the early string instruments, um, soon to be replaced in the 17th century with um, uh, what we basically know as, um, as today as the string orchestra, uh, the string instruments, the violin, the viola, uh, the cello, and the double bass. The double bass was the only surviving modern instrument to be modified slightly um, from the viol family. Uh, it had, um, the viol family had uh, four different ranges of instruments and the lowest of those was modified to be what we know as the double bass today. Uh, in the 17, around the 17th century, uh, the viol family was replaced um, with uh, the violin family and started um, uh, being used in four divisions, uh, the first and second violins, uh, the violas, and then the cello and bass um, on one line. The cello would play its line as written and the basses would play the same line uh, down an octave or down eight notes. So uh, it's exactly the same pitch, just um, uh, down one octave. Uh, and in the uh, Around the 19th century, uh, cello and bass parts started being um, written as separate parts, where the cellos would have one, one line and the basses would have one completely different line. Um, after that, uh, the, cello, the string orchestra as a whole has um, changed with, um, with the orchestra. And uh, in today's um, music can be, can be used for a variety of different things from uh, a pad, which is kind of a, the lush um, feeling that strings can give to uh, a piece of music in orchestra or in pop music. Uh, it can be uh, known as synthesized strings, which would be um, exactly what a pad would be. Um, and it, it creates a nice bed for everything else to um, exist on top of it. And so the string orchestra has, um, has known many functions now and uh, has, has traveled a long journey to um, become what it is today.